Nearpod is a great tool to utilize during a Zoom session. You can host live lessons and students can join the session through a code. During the Zoom session, students can interact with the lessons and submit their work. Through the share feature, you can share students' work or even a result of a poll with the entire class. Each user will be forced to see the screen that you share. This can promote engagement and student participation. By utilizing the share content feature on Zoom, students can also see a live feed of the lesson. As you explain your lesson using the Nearpod, students can follow along visually while listening to the explanation. Through these features, you can increase engagement while monitoring the student's understanding. I will now demonstrate how to host a Zoom session and share a Nearpod content. Step 1. Start your Zoom meeting. Step 2. Locate the button that says Share Screen and Touch Screen. Step 3. Click on Start Broadcast. Then, on the Zoom end, the students will be able to see your screen. Step 4. Load your Nearpod session. Step 5. Click on Code to share your Nearpod code with the rest of the class. Now your students are ready to watch the live Zoom feed of your explanation while interacting with the Nearpod lesson. While you teach your Nearpod lesson and explain, every time you move to the next slide, the student's Nearpod lesson will follow. This is a sample of a live Zoom feed. As I demonstrate how to locate alternate interior angles, the Zoom session is recording and sharing my work. Students can track my colors that I'm using and also see and visualize what I'm trying to explain. Here are some pointers and tips for distance learning using Nearpod. On the right hand corner, there is either a letter T or an S. T means teacher and S means student. Whenever you want to look through a teacher's dashboard, you just need to click on the letter T. When you want to go back to the student view, just click on the letter S. When you want to demonstrate or explain a concept, going on student view helps. As you annotate the slide, students can follow along. When you see a white blank screen, just move the slide to the right and go back to the left, then it will load the slide's content. As demonstrated before from a student's view, now you can interact with the slide and students will be able to see your model. Tip 2, you can also monitor the student's participation level and you can also show the student's name or hide their name. By clicking on the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the number of student participation and their names. Tip 3. Use multiple devices. My students found it easier to use their personal device such as a cell phone or a laptop to watch the Zoom session and to use their iPad to interact with the Nearpod lesson. Additionally, I found it easier to host my Zoom session and share my Nearpod content using my iPad. Then, I also use my laptop to co-host the Zoom session to monitor student Zoom activity. And I also loaded the Nearpod website using Google Chrome to observe from a teacher's view, to see students' activity, identify the class learning needs, and to explain any misconceptions.